Today we're going to be making banh mi. Banh mi is a Vietnamese sandwich which consists of meat, a bunch of vegetables, and my favorite, pate. Now banh mi is a perfect summertime sandwich because we can utilize our grill, if you have one, also which we're going to be using today, and it's packed full of fresh herbs and vegetables. Now what I really like about this sandwich is that it has both French elements and Vietnamese elements, so it makes for a really interesting sandwich. Now the list of ingredients is quite long, so please be sure to note this down. We're going to be using chicken for this recipe, so let's start off with the marinade. You're going to want boneless, skinless chicken thighs, hoisin sauce, soy sauce, sesame oil, ketchup, some honey, Chinese five spice, and some garlic. We're going to be pickling some vegetables, so be sure to have some daikon and some carrots. In order to pickle them, we're going to need vinegar, some salt, and some sugar. Now for the rest of the sandwich, we're going to have some small baguettes, some pate, mayonnaise, some cucumber, some cilantro, and we're going to be seasoning the sandwich with some salt, some pepper, and some Maggi seasoning. All right, let's get cooking. So in a large bowl, place 600 grams of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Add two finely chopped garlic cloves, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two teaspoons of sesame oil, a tablespoon of ketchup, two tablespoons of honey, two tablespoons of hoisin sauce, and one teaspoon of Chinese five spice. Mix well until all of the chicken is covered. Then cover in cling wrap and let it marinate in the fridge for an hour. On to the pickling process. You'll want to have half of a daikon and two medium-sized carrots. Start off with peeling that outer layer for both the daikon and the carrots. Then chop them into thin strips such as this. Next, place them into a large bowl and add a couple of pinches of salt and add two teaspoons of white sugar. You want to draw out as much moisture and make them as flexible as possible. To help speed the process, give them a light massage such as this until you have a pool of juice at the bottom of the bowl. You want to do this for around 5 minutes or until your daikon and carrots are bendable. So in another bowl, put in about 250 milliliters of water, 300 milliliters of vinegar, and 65 grams of white sugar. Give that a nice stir and bring back your daikon and carrots. Add in the brine to your daikon and carrots. Make sure it covers it all completely. Let this sit for about an hour at room temperature if you're going to have this immediately. As for the other toppings, have some fresh cilantro, strips of cucumbers, and pate ready for serving. Time to grill. Make sure your grill is sizzling hot, and drop your chicken in slowly. Now, the cook time really depends on how hot your grill is, but don't have it scorching to the point where you'll burn your chicken, leaving it raw on the inside. Remember, the marinade is quite sweet, so controlling the caramelization is super important. You don't want to burn it, which is quite easy to do. So maintain a nice sizzle at the medium heat, and flip your chicken once you see some nice caramelization going on. Get a good caramelization on both sides, such as this. After, transfer your chicken onto a cutting board and cut into small pieces.
And there you have it, Van Mee. Oh my god. That is insane. That grilled chicken and the pate, they're both rich in flavor, but those fresh herbs and those pickled carrots and daikon works so well with cutting through that richness. That is incredible, and especially all in between some fresh baguettes. I know a lot of people don't like cilantro because to some people it tastes like soap, and to some people it tastes really good. A long time ago, or before, I hated cilantro until I had it in Vietnamese food like in pho, and especially in banh mi. I think just having cilantro on itself is terrible, but having it alongside stuff like grilled chicken and pate and pickled daikon and carrots and bread, it just makes it so much better. I don't know what else to say. That was an incredible sandwich. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit that bell icon for weekly updates. Can't forget this.